Hello YouTube, my name is Fantasize, and welcome to the channel dedicated to educating you on your Vendetta Online journey and satisfying all your Vendetta Online content desires. If this is content you would like to see more of, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now with the introduction aside, let's dive right into the video. So today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to kill a queen in Vendetta Online, and it's a really simple and straightforward process with only a few steps to which I'm going to teach you right now. And the first step is figuring out what materials you will need in order to kill it. So the first ship you're going to want to already pre-prepare for this little task is a bomber. Uh, generally, we use the Ragnarok because it has three small ports and two large ports, which allows it to deal a very large amount of damage very quickly, which is what you're going to want to do to de-shield uh, de the queen. Um, if you don't know how to de-shield targets, I have actually made a video on how to de-shield those. I'll put it in the top right hand corner of your screen. If you click that, watch the video come back, you'll be right up to par and you'll be able to do everything for this. So for small add-ons, you're gonna to wanna to add uh, three Gemini homing missile launchers. Uh, they're only a license requirement of four light, so it's relatively easy to get. And you definitely wanna get it because it'll help out a ton. And it's really just required, if I'm being honest. Between all these other weapons, they don't really have the agility and move at the same speed. That's the number one thing as the swarms, which I'm going to get to next in a little bit. So the for large add-ons, just as I said just a few seconds earlier, you're going to want swarms of some type. It can either be chaos swarms or locust swarms, wherever I find those at the bottom. No, they're right there. Locust swarm missile launchers. It can be one or the other. Uh, locust swarms have a heavy license level of heavy six. Um, chaos have a license level of seven for heavy. So it can be either or. Chaos Swarms give you a little bit more wiggle room in terms of the amount of damage that you can deal and how many you can miss and how bad your stat can be, whereas Locust Swarms require a little bit more uh, finesse with it, <laughs> to say the least. So if you can get either one, it works and you won't have as much of a problem. In terms of the other tab, uh, pick a five fast charge power cell so that way you'll be able to turbo for longer seeing as both the small and large add-ons don't actually affect um, power cell drain, which is pretty good. So the second ship you're going to prepare, this one you have a lot more freedom in how you design and set up. Um, all you're going to need to do is pick one of these ships, um, like a vulture, or if you're standings, not standings, if you're standings and, if you're standings and um, license levels are high enough, then you can pick like a Marauder or some type. It can kind of be whatever to do it. Uh, if I was to recommend add-ons, I would say a Goss Cannons because they have really good auto-targeting and deal a lot of damage, which is perfect for what you're gonna wanna do later on in this tutorial. So once you do that and you get your ship set up, as you can tell, I literally have a Marauder with three Goss Cannons because Goss is love, Goss is life, and nobody can convince me otherwise that's what I'm going to use. So be sure your home is set so that way you die, you don't have to come back, and you're going to want to launch. So um, I'm going to turbo out of here really quick, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a system or sector that has only collectors in it, okay? You don't want anything to have assaults, you don't want anything to have any transports, you just want collectors. If this is a good spot, it has two different kinds of collectors. This is a good spot, it has three different kinds of collectors. It really doesn't matter, it just has to have collectors. I prefer here because there's literally only one kind and you can't mess, you can't, you can't lose one, you know? There's nothing that can go wrong with that. So once you warp into the sector where there's only one collector, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is jump in and turn around. Okay, you want to immediately put as much distance between you and these collectors as possible so that way they don't aggro you and completely uh, ruin this next step. So I prefer to get around 3k meters from them. But once I'm around that, I stop. You can turn around and watch these guys. Okay, so what these guys are going to do is that they're going to get in position and they're going to select whatever road they want to mount. All right, and how these guys work, what these little guys do, what their whole purpose is for life, the whole reason they've been created is to mine for their queen. So what they're gonna do, like this guy right here, 
All he's gonna do is he's gonna mine, he's gonna fill up his cargo hold, and he's gonna take that ore back to the Hive Queen, which is exactly who we're looking for and who we're trying to kill. And the way we're gonna find her is that on the way back, we're gonna follow him, see where he jumps, and then we'll be able to get the queen and kill her. All right? So it takes a while for them to fill up their cargo hold between eight and 10 minutes. So this is a really good opportunity to sit back, relax, do whatever you want. Um, I prefer to, you can, you can uh, look at Twitter, uh, see what's happening on Reddit, or you can take this valuable time, <laughs> or you can take this valuable time to listen to the word from our sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, that's my phone ringing. I should probably answer that. Um, hello? Oh, it, hey, Mr. Raid Shadow Legends. How are you doing? Oh, um, I'm not sponsored by you guys? Why not? I could have sworn I was. Oh, I need more subscribers? But how do I do that? I already told them to subscribe in the beginning of the video. Oh, I can actually have them click a link in the top right hand corner of their screen, which will take them directly to my channel page where they can subscribe. Or I could put the subscription link down in the description down below. What? That's amazing. What else can I do? Funny? But I, I can't do that, Mr. Ray Shadow Legends. Oh no. Well, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll have to talk to you later. I'm doing something really important right now. Yeah, yeah. Bye, love you. There goes that. <laughs> oh man, I have too much fun sometimes. <laughs> what am I doing, dude? I'm talking to myself on my phone. Don't worry, I'll edit that out. You know? It won't even matter, it'll be completely irrelevant <laughs> to the video. Oh God. Okay, so whenever the... Okay, and we're back. And these guys finally started to move and head over the sector. So what you want to do immediately is to start turbo after them in the direction that they're going. Okay? And in order to do that, actually, what you want to do is to turbo after them in the direction that they're going. And the reason why is because once you get close enough, you'll actually be able to uh, see what sector they actually go to in order to find the queen. It's really kind of funny though, because whenever you warp into the other side, you actually don't see where they are, but it is whatever. So what you want to do is you want to be within 1000 meters of them, because once you are, you'll actually see what sector they warp to. I don't have it open in the chat log right now, but if you look here, whenever this guy warps out, it'll show. See, he jumped over to sector I6. So if we head on over there ourselves, I6, that's where the queen's gonna be with her escort. And you will notice that for some strange reason, the collectors aren't there, but it's whatever. Yeah. So this is where you see the queen and all the little escort guys. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna kill the whole escort, which is why I told you to get the ships that you did. So as you'll see now, like this little guy sees me and he sees me as a little intruder. He, he thinks I'm a threat, which he isn't wrong because now him and everyone he knows and loves is quite literally going to die in this very moment. That's besides the point. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to kill these guys, right? And you want to kill the entire escort. And I'm going to do this really quick. And once I'm done with that, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. And we're back. So once you kill the escort, like I just did with absolutely no issues at all whatsoever, because I'm definitely, certainly a professional bot killer. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna instantly head back to whatever station. I'm actually not gonna head back to a station because that my cap ship that has everything in it. You're gonna head back a state head back to the station and pick up that Ragnarok that you kitted out at the beginning of the video in order to G Shield the Queen. So once you get back to that. There we go. So now we're through the loading screen. Let me head on over to my Goliath, or I'll be back in the sector once I get my rag. Okay, and I'm back with that Ragnarok. So now what we're gonna wanna do is de-shield the queen. So once again, I've actually already made a video on this going a lot more in depth. Um, if you wanna watch it, I'll put it in the top right-hand corner of the screen right about now. And as a spark notes edition, all what you really want to do is you're going to be able to go the same speed as the swarms that you're using, get to about 1500 meter and kind of just unload. 
so let's do that. All right, so we're gonna get right about 1500 meters, like this. I'm gonna hold back a little bit to see which direction the queen's going. She's going away from me, which means she's probably going towards me. Next, I just wanna start swarming. Good job, queen. Good job. And bam. So now once the queen's de-shielded, which you can see right now, which you're gonna wanna do immediately, is you wanna head back to the sector to grab that fighter ship in order to start de dealing damage and killing the queen. And you wanna head back really fast because she, the shield re regains relatively quickly and you do not wanna miss it on that window, otherwise you'll have to de-shield her again. So I'll get back to you once I'm actually there and damaging the queen. Okay, and I'm back, and now I'm dealing damage to the queen. And this is about it. All you gotta do is damage her, keep dealing damage until she's dead, and I'll get back to you right when she's about to die. Okay, and I'm back. So the queen's about to die, she's only at 13%. Um, what you're going to do here is you're going to keep your distance a little bit because your explosion radius is quite huge, you're around 400 meters. And if you avoid it, you won't take a lot of damage, but it can kill you. It, it does a ridiculous amount of damage if you're in like a really weak ship. I'm not really going to mind it because I think it's kind of funny to get hit. 7%, 4%, bam, look at that. Jesus. As you can see, it gave me 2,000 heavy weapons experience. It's actually based. It's actually based off of whatever damage you take. And oh my god. Oh my god, that's insane. Okay, okay, okay. So, as I was just about to say, is uh, whenever a queen dies, they'll drop one of the th uh, three things that are actually important. Um, a Hive Queen Gat, which is really good, it's a Gatling Cannon that's an upgrade to the Gat Mark II. She'll drop what she just dropped, a Queen Defensive Matrix, which granted isn't all that useful um, when it comes to um, anything manufacturing. The only thing it's good for is resetting a Corvus manufacturing mission, so it's not really in high demand, but it is worth a fair bit. And the only other thing is a Queen Core, which is a lot more useful as it is used to build a Centurion Super Lights. But she actually dropped a, a Queen Defensive Matrix, which is so cool. I've never had one drop before, and I've actually killed over 100 Queens, so it's, it's really sad. But it, hey, I dropped one, so I'll, we, we take those, we take those. Uh, that's all for the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I want to apologize a little bit because this one got a little bit weird while I was editing it. <laughs> but uh, I hope overall enjoyed you enjoyed it and it was a little bit more of an entertaining experience as well as you may have learned a thing or two. Um, if this is something that for some strange reason you're interested in and you want me to do more of, Put a comment down in the comment section down below. Do what Mr. Ray Shadow Legend said and like the video and subscribe to the channel so maybe one day I can actually get sponsored by people. I think that would be hilarious. But um, that's all for the video. If you enjoyed, you know, I already said my piece. I see you guys in the next one, yeah?